Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And today, T Mobile made a few announcements. So I will leave all of the article of the announcements in the description down below. The first big announcement that came out earlier this morning was that T Mobile is going to launch standalone 5G starting this quarter. That was the first announcement. Then the second announcement was that they have expanded their mid band and low band 5G into new markets. For the mid-band, I believe it was three that were officially announced. Chicago, Los Angeles, and one other, I believe. And of course, unofficially, there's more markets that are getting the uh, 2.5 expanded. So uh, stay tuned for more of those updates coming in the uh, coming weeks. And then this was, the, the, was another big one. That's why I chose this article. T-Mobile is accelerating the path to 5G for all in three big ways. So we know low-band mid-band millimeter wave that's 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 their strategy that's what they're sticking to now here's the thing so one of the negative uh, points that i want to point out is verizon is once again one step behind t-mobile so marketing wise that may be the case because t-mobile is making people believe that they're ahead and they're pushing really really hard but remember verizon attacks silently they're doing more work than T-Mobile because they have more money. So Verizon is investing in its LTE network that they're still improving. So that CBRS capacity that we're seeing is going towards LTE. Millimeter wave is, is their strategy at this point in time, what they want to incorporate. But they're also investing in DSS technology to also incorporate 5G to the mid band and its low band network. So just keep that in mind. They have the band five. They have, I know right now, band 13 is not an official NR band. I, I don't think so. But they have band five. They have it in this market. They got, in other markets, they got band two. They got band four. So they're working very aggressively to build the network in the direction and strategy that they're heading towards. So their strategy is C-band, CBRS, millimeter wave. You got to build a grid to support those frequencies because they are a higher frequency that doesn't happen overnight so you got to incorporate the density into the network to really make that higher frequency work so the c-band and cbrs are kind of around the same frequency 3.5 3.7 gigahertz maybe a little more maybe a little less for the c-band but that's right around the frequency where it's going to be so verizon is building and improving the LTE network still, adding macros, densifying, and that's going to help them accelerate to the to the 5G network and where they want to be at. So just keep that in mind as these articles are coming out stating that Verizon is behind. Remember, Verizon has the larger network at this point still, larger than even AT&T and much larger than T-Mobile. Now they're investing and focusing towards 5G with the millimeter wave. And now, of course, there's upcoming spectrum auctions where they're going to spend heavy. So all of that is, is a investment towards future deployment that's coming. So just keep that in mind. I know right now a lot of people are behind on the uh, not behind, but devices aren't necessarily in play just yet for the standalone. So a lot of people are behind on 5G devices. And they still need to they still need to uh, put out the uh, the towers necessary to support the coverage as needed. And um, all of that is happening at the same time. So there's not and I said this in previous videos that the money is not necessarily there to support all of the projects. So they got to choose between one or the other. And right now, priority is, of course, the uh, the band 41 rollout, which that's a whole nother saga. I'm, I'm getting reports that it's not a failure, but it's not necessarily working as it's supposed to. People are saying that they they have seen the upgrades and now all of a sudden the network is not working as it was previously or prior. So there's there's some stuff off. There's a lot of optimization ongoing. Like like I said, the engineers are still learning so they're getting better each and every day. But keep in mind, this optimization can last a very long time. They're tweaking the sectors. They're, they're doing a lot of stuff. So just keep all that in mind. But all of that is happening in 
right now it's happening very quickly to stand alone they're pushing very very hard and they're pushing that uh that transformative rollout a lot of it is backfiring the network is tanking speeds are getting slower they're migrating so just keep all that out of mind i just wanted to push that out today and get you guys this update there's there's another video coming later today so stay tuned for that one i wanted to get this one out first the other one will be a little longer but again if you are on the if you have been on the channel you can go ahead and end the video now if you are new make sure you like share subscribe also hit the notification bell so you are notified when i upload content make sure to follow the twitter i do post the videos on there so push notifications on both so you have the two platforms to get the notifications from and this is tyrone with tech life and i will see you guys in the next video peace